Your niggas in the house, no joy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, bros. I your side. Fine, fine, fine. Tell me your name now. My name is Siano Papa. Ah, Siano Papa. Siano Papa, talk to us about the forest car city now. How you Siam? How you the cook? Mm. But who the vessel? But like this, they help us most more. But me, me go ahead to make food come every year. So that we now will go enjoy. No vote for the No, we will not go for now. Those are the criminal. There are two calls of them are criminals. Mm. Criminal. Okay, no. So, so, so um, this current so forest scarcity right, right now, yeah. what do you feel be the problem? What do you feel be the cause? Now they will be leading. Now they cause them now. Okay, now they cause them. Now they cause everything now. Who is street? We are the other. Okay, okay. Mm. You see, I have been here for three days now. Three days? Three days for three good days. I came here very early in the morning, three days ago, packed my vehicle, but couldn't get fuel. I left yesterday. Today again, the same thing. Like this morning, some of us slept in the vehicle, woke up this morning to get fuel, but we couldn't get anything. To our surprise, we see vehicles that are not on queue. Just parked by the roadside, some are parked inside the fast food, some opposite the, uh, the queue. You see, the, even the fuel attendant, the officers, they will just direct them to enter and block even those that are on the queue. Here by serving them, I refuse to serve the people at the queue. Mm. So I don't even know. Even the appearance is not working when you get there to, buy, to get fuel. Okay. To get money to buy the fuel is another issue. So we don't know where we are heading to. Mm. Mm. So um, what do you think could be the cause of this current lingering fuel scarcity? Uh, to me, I don't really know. Everybody keep on blaming the government, the government, the government. But I think we too, we are, we are the problem. Because right now, as you can see, we have fuel here. Okay. But they refuse to sell the fuel from morning till almost 11 o'clock. That's why they started selling the fuel. Okay. We well, government come and tell them to start selling by 6 o'clock. So but when you get to other filling stations like the one in town, they start selling by 6 o'clock. This one, they refuse selling till 11 before they start selling. And look at the crowd here. So when you start by 7 to sell or 11 to sell, how many cars are you going to affect? How many, how many people are you going to sell before the night comes up? So, then you shut down. Okay. So are you saying that there is fuel, but the fuel station has there refused is, to yes, sell? There is fuel, they refuse to sell. That is the issue. There is fuel for NMPC. There is fuel for NMPC. And even other filling stations, there is fuel too. Go to Eterna, there has been fuel. See, they locked down, they refuse to sell. Wow. It's just of wow. today that Eterna decided to open. Otherwise, they've had fuel. See. I saw when the attackers came in, they refused selling. It's, it's it's a sad one. It's a sad one. I I, I, I believe I, I believe I believe that your just, your just family move, just move a little bit to where the banks are. You see lines of people queue up waiting to collect money. Some even fall there and broke somebody's head just to get money to buy fuel. Mm. I and, believe and, that. And and, and and an officer will go there, seeing a pregnant woman. Women come with jerry kind to beg for fuel. They are not even on the uh, close to the fuel uh, uh, pump. They are sitting by the side begging, please help us. And the man will just go there, pick their jerry and be bossing one after the other. Is it done anywhere? But I don't pass my head though, bro. You understand? For the past four days now I've been here. And I never see by. If four you, days? For the past four days. For one my carry, carry me now. That, that Toyota company is where my car is still dating now. They just abandon us here. They concentrate on jerry can. And each jerry can, they are collecting one 1,000 naira. Leave the fuel line, the normal line that they are supposed to sell. And it is NMPC. It's not supposed to be like that now. Because for the past four days now, I'm not lying. I've been here. I will carry you go where my car then now. This line never moved for, for the past two hours. We are still stagnant like that. And it's not done. So I, what I will say, let them do the proper something. So that we know say yes. This is what they are supposed And now they are even selling uh they are, they are ten naira bar on top of the price. And we cannot go and buy because me and like my own I use and drive taxi. I don't use it for private use. So the little I get from here, if I can buy from here, at least I will see something out of it. But if I cannot buy from my brother, there is no way I'm going to. So I cannot go and buy 450. Mm. You understand? I cannot buy 450, I cannot buy 350 or 300. So what I can buy is this, than 189. Okay. So I'm okay with that. So uh, what, what, what do you think is the cause of this forest scarcity right now? My brother, I don't know. Okay. So um, if you were to prefer a solution right now, would it be that way you could tell a government say government make on a do make this condition for better? At least let's do any let everybody go and get their PVC and vote anybody that is in their mind. Um, looking at the present predicament at hand, the forest scarcity, the forest scarcity is really one of the problems that we are facing today, and is really disturbing our business daily. As you can see, many activities have been abandoned. Since morning, I have been here to look for a way to get a fuel that I can use for my business. But all this while, instead of 
for them to allow people to go and buy fuel. They are pushing people away, and most of the people, most of the motorists that have been here since month, they have led due to the problems that we are facing. Mm. They will not allow you to enter into the first station and buy fuel. I'm a business person. Since five days now, I've not sell any market due to this fuel scarcity. Okay. And each day I'm coming to the, each day I'm coming to shop. I spent almost 600 naira added to my feeding this thing. So you can see that those students are not helping matter. It's really affecting. So what, do you, so what do you think could be the cause of this uh, issue right now that, that, that is being faced by not just motorists but uh, Nigerians? Well, the cause of this issue is that our government has fed us. It's obvious. Our, this present government has fed us. They, in, they intentionally want to suffer their citizens. Because looking at it, this is an election season. And this is the beginning of the year. Things have not stable as normal as supposed to be. So they just, since last year, December, they just decided to wicked everybody. If you go to most of the south south, to south most side of uh, the northern they are not facing these kind of things. So I'm thinking one of the cause of this thing is one bad leadership. Is it I to me I think concerning this fuel uh, scarcity or the struggle that is going on here, the only solution we think is to though the military men are here, the police are here, they should concentrate on the queue and make sure that the queues are moving. Secondly, they should make sure that all the filling stations that have fuel, that decide not to sell the fuel, they should go and check their tank to be sure that they have the fuel. And anyone that refuses to sell the fuel, they lock them down. Okay. If by doing so, you see other people who decide to sell, they, they will come up to sell their fuel. They will open their, uh, their, their, their station for business. Okay. Not to have this fuel, you keep it. Imagine I was in a mobile filling station to buy fuel at Odili Road. Okay. They were selling 295 Naira. And the manager came out there to tell us that they should stop selling. Then immediately she just programmed the meter and changed it to 330. Wow. It's, we are there, we saw it. They changed it to 3. You just decide on your own. Is it Buari that called them say change the price? You just on your own come change it to 330. So you, then the other filling station we hear 330, ah, change the zone to 480. The other one we hear change the zone to 600. I mean, where are we going to? Wow. Uh, Jonathan issued that that is no suffering like this for free issue. Mm. But now Bari enter. Since Bari enter this country, things change. And a person like me, I don't like the way things do. We need a, a good leader to change this country to better for us. So are you saying Bari is not a good leader? It's not a good leader for us. Why, Why do you suffering? think so? See everywhere we suffering. See fair everywhere we okay. suffering. Everybody take I see money is not in Nigeria. Mm. I going to bank, no money mm. for inside bank. What is happening? Everybody will be angry about this issue. But you are aware that uh, no no government can actually fix it all, right? They only go and give up, you're going to give up the right person to amend this country. Mm. This country is scattered. It's free. Okay, I can see that you are a keke driver. Yes. So how, how, have, how have you been coping with the first car city with your keke? How, how, how have, have you been able to get fuel because you, you, you need to drive to get to, to earn money yes. to survive. So how have, how have you been, been coping with this first car city and your keke? I've first car city to buy fuel now. If I don't have to buy black market, I cannot go work. Mm. Without black market in country now, I cannot go and work. To buy fuel now, you know, if they see fuel, no buy them. Because you have use your money, see people, some of them sleeping here. Since for three days now, they no buy fuel. And everybody they cry. 